Good morning, grade two students. How are you all doing today? How are you all feeling today? You all are feeling good, right? Feeling healthy. Tummies are full with breakfast. Yes, great. Good job. Now this is the second day of the eleven, right? And it's your literacy class, right? Now let's do a small recapping. What was the topic that we did yesterday? We did compound words, right? And what are compound words? Can anybody tell me? Compound words are when you join two nouns together to make one word, right? When you join two nouns together, like your white and board, it equals to white board, right? That is a compound word. Now, let's do a small activity. I'll be writing few words on the board. In, uh, over here and you are going to tell me how I'm, am I going to make compound words with that word. Okay, one word each I'm going to take and you will tell me how will I go, uh, I'm, how am I going to write a compound word or how am I going to make a compound word with that word. Right, ready? Okay, there you go. Now, my word is a bag. So, how am I going to make it a compound word? You can say a school bag. Very good. Okay. Now, another word is table. How am I going to make a table cloth? Very good. Table cloth. And, uh, okay, the other word, is, <coughs> excuse me, is board. How am I going to, we can make white board or I can also make black board. Right? Okay. Now, another word is, you can say, a uh, Bed, bedroom, okay, or I can also say bed cover, yes, okay, okay, now, so another word is, like you can say, uh, home, this is very easy, you all must know. Homework, right. Homework. Right. So see how we have made, we have, I have given you one word and you told me another word and joined together with those words we have made one word and that is a compound word. And all these words are nouns. You join two words, to two nouns to make one compound word. Like from bag, you have made school bag or table. Tablecloth, board, whiteboard, blackboard, and then bed, bedroom, bed cover, home, homework, right? So these are different types of different compound words, right? Okay, now what is we are going to do today? I'm going to show you a picture, right? And from that picture, you are going to find out some compound words. You are going to make some compound words yourself, okay? So, and that picture is, I'm going to show you right now. And you will see what that picture is about. And look at the picture very, very carefully. Look at this picture very carefully, children. Can you all see my screen? Yes? Okay. Now, what do you think this picture is about? Correct. This, is, this picture is about a beach. Wow, great. Now, look at the picture very carefully and find out the compound words from here. Find out some of the compound words, right? Come on, come on. It's very easy. You will find and you are going to tell me and I'll be writing on the board. What is the, uh, what is the, uh, over here on top, what can you see here? What is this? Sun. So can you make some word with sun? Sun plus Glasses, correct. Glasses. 
it equals to sunglasses, right? Okay. Now, what time is it? Can you see the? This is a picture of a beach. At what time of the of a year you go on the beach? What is the best time? It's summer time, right? So again, you can make from summer, summer plus time. It will become summer time. Now, okay, what do you eat in summertime? Okay, let's first see what else is there. What are these? What is this in the picture? Very good. It's a seahorse. Sea plus horse. It becomes seahorse. All right. Now, what is uh, this? You can see on the on the uh, on the sand there is something which is of a star. What do you find it in the over the beach, which is of a star? A starfish, right? Star plus fish will be starfish. Yes. Okay. Now, what is this boy and ball? What is this thing? The ball. Uh, the boy is playing with, he's running after a football. Very good. Foot. So how will you make foot? Plus ball. It will become football. Okay. Anything else that you find here? What is this? It's a board. So what do you call it? A sailboard. Correct. That you can write it yourself or I'll write down. Sail plus board. It will become a sail board. Right? Okay. Now, what this girl is making over there? A small girl with two ponies. What she is making? What do you think it is that you usually do when you go on the uh, beach? You make a Sand castle, right? So, sand castle is also another sand plus castle, it becomes sand castle. Very good. And any other thing which is left out? What this girl is, uh, what these things are over here, which is kept here on the mat? Cold, yes, very good. Cold plus drink, it will become cold drink. So, these are all, see, from this. A picture of a beach. You have found so many different compound words. You have made so many compound words which you can see easily see from here. And these are all nouns. Remember that, right? So we have done so many. Is there any other compound word that we missed out? And what else do you eat in summertime? We usually eat watermelon. So water plus melon becomes Watermelon. Wow. Great job. Very good. So that means that from that picture of a beach, you have made so many different compound words. We have made almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or ten compound words. See, there are these are all nouns, right? And what are compound words? You join two nouns to make one compound word. Now, what is your task for today? Now I want you. To at least these are uh, six words over here. I want you to make at least use any three of these compound words in your sentences. Come on. And since it is sentences, you have to write it down. I'm going to give you eight minutes to do this task, and your time starts now. Okay, time is up, time is up. Come on. Yes, now Saad, which sentence you have made or with which word? You have made sunglasses. Okay. Tell me your sentence. I like to wear my sunglasses in summertime. Very good. I like to wear my sunglasses in summertime. Next, what have you made, uh, Sara? So, uh, Saad, basically you have used two compound words in one sentence. Sunglasses and summertime. Very good. That's great. Now, uh, okay. 
Yes, Sarah, which word you have used? Starfish. Okay. Yes. Very good. I found one starfish and seahorse at the beach. Very good. I found one starfish and a seahorse at the beach. That means she has used how many how many words? Two compound words. That's great. Okay. Now comes football. Who will make a sentence of football? Yes, sir. We like to play with our football when we go to the beach. Good job. We like to play with our football when we go to the beach. Great. Very good. So that means I am very, very happy to see my intelligent, my sharp class. My children, you are really very intelligent. That's great. That's great. You all know how to make compound words, how to make use those compound words in your sentences there are two different tasks that we have done today we have done how the, uh, we have made done how to make compound words by looking at the picture and what we have done how to use those compound words in your sentences that's great so nice that means two tasks we have completed in this class now what you are going to do you are going to do the workbook page for homework i'll be posting that on it will be very easy. It's all related to compound words. You will not find it difficult. Do do it yourself. But if still you find some problem or you find it difficult, you can ask me in the next class. And the other thing which I want you all to rem I want to remind you all is that please, please try start revising everything that we are doing. You should start revise whatever we are doing. Like suppose today. Whatever you have done today, revise that. After the, after your school, revise that. Whatever we have done yesterday, revise that. Because you know, from next week, you'll be having your reinforcement week. And after that, you'll be having your midterms. So you should know all these things. And if you find any difficulty anywhere, feel free to ask me. Okay? We'll have, we'll solve, we'll resolve all your issues in during our reinforcement week. Okay, children? So I hope you must have enjoyed the class. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.